Ghana event organizers always want to make money, but they don't want to spend money. Welcome to the new episode of Entertainment News. I go by the name Pai Muka. I'm back again. Yes! We all know an event called Tidal Rave went on on the 15th of October. This event went down in Kukrubiti, Accra. Okay, let me tell you something. When I saw the fly of the event, I was like, bro, I wish I was there. I saw a couple of videos. Sarkodia performed, Jackie performed, Joey B performed, DJ, Darko Vibes, R2Bs, Black Sheriff. It's not long ago an event was organized in Ghana which went really well or very good. I'm talking about the Global Citizen Festival. This Global Citizen Festival was free, like everybody was allowed to come enjoy, come and party free for free without paying anything but this tidal rave the ticket of this tidal rave was 100 ghana cities now how come after all these artists have performed and it reached black sheriff all of a sudden the mic wasn't functioning well blackout lights off Charlie, like organizers no sometimes ghanaians we are capable of doing things exactly as the Nigerians, exactly as the Global Citizen Festival, but we, our problem is we want to do it, but we don't want to spend that much in doing it, which means we would rather take or buy something that's uh, maybe exactly the same as the original, but wanting to pay less. You get me? Like, how can you organize such an event and didn't make sure everything was fixed right? How can you organize an event and didn't make sure the lights and everything, the stage was was set up right? Like, just imagine some of the people came there because of Black Sheriff. They didn't come there because of any other rapper. They came to experience Black Sheriff fly from the stage. And just imagine you buying 100 Ghana, 100 Ghana CDs tickets, going there, and this happened. He wasn't even able to end his performance. Check the video. <laughs>
From resources, I heard Black Sheriff complain five times about the microphone. I don't know whether you wanted to sabotage him or something because during an interview on the radio, he said nobody can sabotage him. Maybe it was a prank. If it was a prank, let us hear because, like, I was very disappointed to experience such a thing when we experienced a Global Citizen Festival, which went on great. And then Ghanaians organizing such an event in their country couldn't even make sure the mic was functioning or the mic was working right. Black Sheriff walked off stage. I would have been pissed too because he was full of energy. He couldn't wait to perform in front of the people that love him and then came to experience such an embarrassment. Ghana. <laughs> Hey, all we know is to take money, but we don't want to push money out to build whatever we are trying to build up. Sometimes you need to spend money to make money. Ghanaians want to spend only a bit and make thousand times of the bit they spent. How does this shit work? How do you even want it to work? Such an event where people paid money to come to. It be behind. Maybe you can give a Ghanaian a plan to copy. He will still make a mistake. And let this everything crash down. Like, how are we dumb or we just like we are used to like dumbness or we are used to simple things? Bro, we are going to 2023. You gotta be wise. You can't just do anything by heart, especially when you got heavyweight rappers coming to your event. You gotta behave as such. When the rapper is on stage, everything must be on point. Because he can't come on stage, spend his time. Though you paid him, but he spent his time, come there. And then experience the mic wasn't even functioning, bro. Let it make sense. Like, I'm out.